Hey guys, Jordan here in this video, I'm gonna be talking about staying calm in the chaos, so let's get into it. All right, so if you're just landed on my channel and are new to it, I talk about real estate photography, so if that's something you're into, make sure to hit that subscribe button. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about staying calm when things go a little bit crazy in your business, you know? Looking back, I started my business in 2013, I started by myself, and uh, you know, there are definitely times where you're like, oh my gosh, this is so chaos, I don't have any time. Um, you know, there's so many problems who, you know, it's like the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Um, but I think it's really important to stay calm and just to manage your business the best way that you can, right? And, and just take it day by day. You know, I don't think you're ever going to get away from like smooth selling all the time. You know, there might be times where you have way too much work or there might be other times where you have way too little. Um, it just... You know, there's ebbs and flows in this business, especially when you're getting started and you don't have a whole big uh, clientele and don't know uh, necessarily what to expect. And seasonality might be a big factor um, in in your business. So you might be super busy one time of year and then not all that busy um, for another portion of the year. But, you know, I definitely think you know, managing your resources properly, you know, creating a buffer um, in your business so that if you if if you have that chaos and you know you think that hey hiring somebody is probably going to be a good idea or maybe you're going towards that route well you know you're going to want to have money set aside to make sure that you can pay that individual especially if you're going into like a slower uh, time of, of the year and I would say you know that that's probably some of the uh, better things now you know better decisions that i've made over my career is just hiring great people right i've gotten lucky and i've had great uh, people that i've worked with over time and i think it's important to make sure that you hire uh, not just anybody off the street but somebody that also aligns with the values um, that you create at, at your business and that will uphold your standards and what you expect on a day in, on a daily basis you know the bigger you get it's easier to manage the chaos but i definitely do acknowledge that man there there are times where you're in the fire and you're like man what am i going to do here but you know i think when you're in those situations i think it's it's good to, to stay calm you know figure out what you can do differently what can you implement how can you save time like where are you spending time i think at the beginning it's all about maximizing yourself and your energy and then what can you offload maybe you start with a you know three to five dollar va out of the philippines that can help respond to certain emails but i think it's important to you know you know look at a lot of things your pricing you know are you are your prices way too low and you're getting swamped and there's not much margin are you better served raising your prices a little bit maybe uh working with a few less customers but being able to deliver those expectations that you had set when you when you set out to to build your business right every i think everybody's business is different but i do think it's important to uh not panic and just really make uh, sound business decisions over time so anyways if you're in the fire right now and you're looking for some advice or whatever uh, in, in your business leave them i'm curious to to know you know leave them in the comment section below uh, i'll be more than happy to kind of give maybe my recommendation or what i would do if i was in, in in your shoes as i have been through a whole lot of different scenarios um, in my business as um, you know towards the end of this year we're going to have been in business for nine years now so anyways um, that's going to do it for this video. If you got value, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you guys on the next one.